Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile doesn't glamorize Ted Bundy. It's much worse than, as a brief reminder Ted Bundy was a, by most accounts a good-looking, young law student who was eventually handed three death sentences for the murder of three women in Florida. Before he was set, the film, according to director Joe Berlinger, is supposed to tell the story of Bundy's rapes, murders, necrophilia, and kidnaps from the perspective of his long-term girlfriend Elizabeth Klope for Lily Collins. It sounds like a, none of the murders except one, right at the end are shown in the film, which would usually be a point of praise, you though gruesome photographs of the murders flash up, without warning, at points during the film. Staying away from, Efren and Berlinger laid bare their misunderstanding of what the movie's depiction of Bundy means in an interview with The Guardian earlier this week. We're hyper aware, the casting of Zac Efron was a hotly contested decision, you how are we supposed to believe the much loved kid from high school musical turned red carpet heartthrob could portray such a despicable man? The truth is that Berlinger who also directed the Netflix documentary series The Ted Bundy Tapes had an opportunity to do something special with this movie. In a post serial, I said we should practice patience when it comes to tidbits of information and trailers, but it is wearing very thin. If the entertainment